Unfortunately, when fire prevention fails, uh, we come into service, as we did in the early morning hours of uh, Sunday, September 1st. Uh, I'm going to pass around while I'm describing this event a couple of photographs that were taken. We usually don't see, you usually don't get to see what we do when we first pull in at a fire. It just happened on the night of this fire, there was a, an out-of-town volunteer fireman riding with the chief on duty who had a camera. And he caught some of what we call the first in pictures that show you uh, the scene as it was when we arrived. This was a single family dwelling in the 100 block of Peach Street. Unfortunately, two people were trapped, one on the roof and one inside. And some of the heroics that took place on this night we think deserve to be commended here tonight. Quick scenario of what happened is the first engine pulled in, which was engine one, with firefighters Larry Fisher and Tim Schwartz. They saw the worst case scenario that usually occurs in nighttime fires. A person trapped on the roof hanging from the soil pipe, fire rolling up the front of the building, plus overhead wires, which precluded any chance to put ladders or aerial ladders up. They grabbed the ground ladder off their truck, raised it to the side of the building, and very to a very precarious angle, were able to bring this woman to safety. At the same time, other firefighters were made aware of a 20-month-old child that was still in the building. And Lieutenant Frank Nefis and Firefighter Ronald Banks went in the building be before the fire was actually under control and was still being fought, fought their way up to the attic and brought this child outside. Unfortunately, the child succumbed to uh, thermal burns and smoke asphyxiation but not for lack of trying. So tonight, we'd like to honor them with some presentations. Would firefighter Larry Fisher please step forward? Lawrence E. Fisher, who on the morning of September 1st, 1996, responded to a box alarm at 135 Peach Street, where he observed a woman trapped on the roof of the fire building clinging to a soil pipe. Firefighter Fisher and his partner quickly deployed an extension ladder from engine one and worked their way through a walkway, which incidentally was littered with trash and debris and made it very difficult to raise the ladder. In front of an adjacent vacant lot where they raised the ladder despite very adverse conditions. Firefighter Fisher, for his part in the placement of this ladder and assisting Firefighter Schwartz is hereby commended for his quick actions and a job well done. Firefighter Timothy Schwartz. Firefighter Timothy e. Schwartz of Engine 1, who on the morning of September 1st, 1996, responded to a box alarm at 135 Peach Street where he observed a woman trapped on the roof of the fire building clinging to a soil pipe. With heavy smoke pushing from the dormer along the roof line and fire rolling up the front of the building, Firefighter Schwartz climbed to the top of the ladder where he guided the woman onto the ladder and safely to the ground where she was treated by emergency medical services personnel. Firefighter Schwartz is hereby awarded the Medal of Valor for outstanding personal bravery performed in the line of duty. <laughs> Lieutenant Frank J. Nefos, Jr who on the morning of September 1st responded to a box alarm at 135 Peach Street, entered the structure by way of the first floor and began to search for a small child still trapped in the building. Despite extreme heat and heavy smoke and without the protection of a hose line, Lieutenant Nefis directed firefighter Ronald Banks in the search of a child who was subsequently located and removed from the building. Lieutenant Nefos is hereby awarded the Medal of Valor for outstanding personal bravery performed in the line of duty. Just by way of commentary, as, as Banks and Nefos went up the inside of the building, the fire on the first floor was not yet under control, and yet they had to use the stairway to the second floor in the attic without any protection from any hose lines and only their own personal gear. Needless to say, it was a very, very daring effort. Firefighter Ronald P. Banks, who on the morning of September 1st, 1996, 
responded to a box alarm at 135 Peach Street, entered the second floor of the structure by ladder and began to search for a small child still trapped in the building. Despite extreme heat and heavy smoke and without the protection of a hose line, firefighter Banks searched the third floor, found the child on a bed, and successfully removed the child from the structure. Firefighter Banks is hereby awarded the Medal of Valor for outstanding personal bravery performed in the line of duty. Job well done by our by our four firefighters. <laughs>